Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video on the customer business to business portal. So today we're going to look at the Acumatica portal as a means to allow your customers to get access to their information, their invoices, their statements, to be able to see support cases and to also be able to place orders. So let's take a look. The first thing is, is I'm in a customer profile. Now, the business to business portal is business to business, and that's what it is. So with that, you must register these customers. It's not the kind of site where people can come in and just do a self-registration and check on out uh, with products they wanna buy. Um, you set them up in advance. So when we look at the customer profile and we go to the contacts, you can add any number of contacts here. And if we drill into one, and we go to the user info tab. You can enable a user here, and Dean has the ability to get into the portal. Okay. So now let's go in and log into the portal. And we'll log in. The company selector is there because we happen to have it set up that way. So this is the home page that the contact sees when they log into the portal. So you can see some of the different options. So new support case, browse cases, my documents, my statements, browse catalog, my orders, and knowledge base. You can build a whole knowledge base in here with the Wiki Management System in Acumatica. And you can edit your company's information, meaning bartending is what this contact is part of. You can go in and edit that information if you have the rights. Now, in addition to that, you'll also have the work area menus. So here's the administration. It just so happens I have administrative rights. Okay. Um, but normally a, a user wouldn't see that. Here is my profile as a user. So my profile can see statements, documents, and contracts. Okay. So if we take a look at that, we can look at the different statements that have been run. In this particular company, we don't have a lot of statements run, but you can see if I go back, you can see the old statements. And I can print them as a user. Okay, so here's my statement. I can do whatever I want with it as a, as a user. And in addition, I can see my documents. Those are essentially invoices that I can see. So this is our credit memos, our invoices. You can, the portal user can create filters and stuff like that that they want. Right, so they can open up an invoice. Now it doesn't bring up the invoice screen in Acumatica. Instead, it brings up the invoice form, which is fine. Right, so we go into that, we can see that. You also have a couple other options here, such as print account history. So this shows the accounts receivable balance report for this particular customer. And Acumatica for support case management system, Acumatica has a contract based system where you can have different contracts in the system and it shows their setup dates and their expiration dates. And you can take a look at these by clicking on the contract and it'll show you the summary and the details. So what are the products or services that are part of this contract? What the recurring summary is, if there is any, the history with it, and what invoices were generated as a result of this contract. Okay, and again, this particular user can go in and look at their company information, but they can also go in and look at contacts, and if they have the rights, even add new ones. Okay. Now, let's skip over orders for a second. Let's go to support. So over here, we have the ability to look at open and closed cases, support tickets, or I can create a new one. So let's take a look at our open cases. So there's one in here. Acumatica will filter by contact, so if there's others that are assigned to someone else, such as Sam Malone, you can see those if you uncheck this me. If I go into the support ticket, I can see everything including all the activities for this case. I can see the original description, so a computer was damaged when it arrived. I can look at attributes, so these attributes are defined in Acumatica. And keep in mind that in Acumatica, if we go back, and we take a look at a support case. So Acumatica has 
this option when you create activities and when you create items as to whether or not they're internal only or they're visible to your portal users. So for example, if I add a note here, and this is case 1020, and I say uh, here is a note, if I mark it internal, it won't show. If I uncheck this and save it, it'll show up online. So if I go back to our case details, and I go into case 120, you can go in and here's in activities, here's the note. So Acumatica does that. Additionally, the attributes do the same thing. So if we go back and we look at the attributes, and you can see our attributes are product needing support, product purchase date. These are based on the case class. So product needing support. Notice there's a checkbox for internal. So I could have internal information that my techs want to maintain, but don't want to make privy to the portal user. Okay. So they can also make changes to the priority. They can change the different contact here. And they have the ability to define a contract. And again, if I click on new support case, or I go here and click new case, this is what the screen looks like. I pick a contract, I pick the priority, I pick the class ID, so this is case class. We'll have another video on support tickets. I can give it a description. And give it some information here. When I submit, Here's the case, it's new, it's unassigned right now. And if I go back to Acumatica, and I look at my cases, I can see this new case immediately in here. Okay, so that's the support ticket system. Now, if I go back and I look at orders, this allows you to do business to business style order. I call it business to business because if we take a look at our product catalog, it's not formatted in such a consumer view, such as an e-commerce site might be, such as pictures in the listing view and such. So if we go in and we want to find an item, we can do that. So if I'm looking for a table, I can search. You can see that here. I have the ability to look up categories. So this shows here. Now what is this? So if we go back into Acumatica and we go into item categories, these are the item sales categories in Acumatica, and they show up here. So when we click on this, this shows the items that are accessible to the B2B portal. They need to be populated here. So you can create any number of categories, nest them, and add the items here. So you don't have to sell all the items in your catalog. You sell just the items that you add here. So again, if I go back and I look at my category, this is the same categories and I can click on different categories and Acumatica will show it okay now if I want to order something such as take out the category for now and maybe I need five of these not 56 of these great and I need three of these okay I can click add to cart and one note on this this shows the customers pricing but whatever customer I'm associated with, whatever level pricing and whatever quantity breaks and stuff, I will see those prices. I'll also see the inventory on hand as well. Now, if I open up the cart, I can see the items. And again, you notice there was $500 as a price, but I have a break quantity of over five, I get 475 off. That's in Acumatica, it's set up. So I could see that price as soon as I added these items to the cart. Now I can continue shopping, clear the cart, or proceed. Now what we can see as a portal user is the company's locations. Now I can make a change here. I can edit the address on the fly and make a change. It's showing me my line total, the discounts, if there's any tax, of course. The order total after discounts, 
I can change the delivery method if I need to and a delivery date. If I have a UPS account on file, I can use that. I don't. That's why it's giving me this message. And also the option about ship complete. So in Acumatica, we have a function, whether or not we allow back orders or whether or not we only want to ship everything completely or whatever is available and cancel the order. So we're going to leave that. I'll put a note in there. Please rush this order or call me right away. And then I can click continue. And now I have an order summary with my shipping address information, the item, all on one screen. And I could submit the order. So once I'm done, as we talked about before, the screens don't come up for the portal user, but the forms do. So here's a picture of my sales order form with all the information. Notice the note at the bottom. Okay. And if I go back into Acumatica and I bring up my sales orders, now you can see this new sales order for the 25,000. If I click on it, I can see all the content. Notice it was created by Dean. And I can see it says customer portal sales request. I can see the notes that the portal user entered. And I can start processing this. Now, if we go back into the portal and we look at orders and I look at my orders, I can see all my open orders and their statuses. And again, if I come over here and let's say this goes into shipping, so now it has a shipping status of an order, so the status here will change. I'll choose to ship one of the items. They're coming from different warehouses. but So when I go back to the portal and refresh, you can now see this is shipping. So this gives the portal user the ability to see what's going on. Of course, that's in addition to any email notifications that might be going on. But you can, again, see which orders are shipping, which orders are on credit holds, and you have a really good idea. The other option you can do here is you can view the shipments that are related to the orders. You can copy an order to the cart. So, for example, if I see here I've ordered 5,000 of something, I can copy that order to the cart and start on again and proceed to check out and order the same thing that I've ordered previously. So that's the customer business to business portal. If you have any further questions, at the end of our video is our contact information. Please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again.